Hi guys! So I have this super plain round box that I bought at Michael's um, a few weeks ago and I decided to paint it today. Right now it's super boring, just literally a brown box with nothing in it, so I'm gonna fix that today. I'm gonna get out my materials, so I grabbed some paint, just my acrylic paint that I bought, also a paint palette, a paintbrush, and some water, and gesso. So I'm going to start off by gessoing this entire cardboard box. Now this is my first time using gesso, so I'm sort of just experimenting around. If you don't know what gesso is, it's literally just a white coat um, that is used to sort of make a first layer so that the paint is more vibrant, since this box is kind of brown and dark. So here I am just gessoing away. Now you may notice I didn't gesso um, the place where the lid meets the bottom of the container just because I don't want paint there. I don't want paint there because that's where the lid, you know, opens and closes and paint could sort of get in the way of that. But now to the actual painting, I have decided to paint this box to look like an orange. Really weird idea that's kind of simple and not something I would usually do, but I decided to do something sort of less abstract just to test stuff out. So I'm getting out the orange paint, which is actually the exact color I want it to be so I don't have to mix in any other like whites or anything. And now I'm just painting the entire box orange, except for, of course, that part that I didn't gesso where the lid touches the container. So I have finished painting the entire box with the first coat of orange, as you can tell by my really good looking water. It looks like melted Cheetos. Now I'm getting out some white paint to paint in the sort of white part of the orange, like the rind I guess you could say. So I'm just slowly painting this circle around the top of the container. And then I am painting the lines to sort of divide the orange into slices. Now this may look super messy right now, but it's mainly just a sketch that I'll fix up later. Now I felt like this was kind of boring because it was just orange and white, so I decided to mix a lighter shade of orange to color in the uh, flesh, I guess you could say, of the orange. Because in real life, the orange flesh is just slightly a different color from the skin. So I decided to give it a little bit more dynamic by painting the flesh of the orange a sort of paler color. This is actually really satisfying to watch, I don't know why, just to watch me filling in the sort of slices. Okay, so I finished painting the outline, but as you can see, it's a mess. So I'm gonna take a lot of time now to go back and fix up everything, go over the white lines to make it more vibrant and make the lines look better and just keep fixing up things to make it look nice and clean. So I'm back after a long time of fixing it up and I would say the orange looks a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit uneven still, but I guess that's fine. I just keep going back and touching up little spots that need fixing. I don't know why I like to watch this, it's just really satisfying. Now I'm basically done except for the fact that the white has kind of bled onto the sides, so I'm just gonna fix that really quick by painting some orange back on top of it. Now that that's done, I can clean up and get out my Mod Podge. Now I'm using this matte Mod Podge to coat the orange box just to seal in all the paint. And as you can tell, I did a really good job of opening the Mod Podge. But Mod Podging is quite straightforward, you literally take a paintbrush and coat the entire thing in the Mod Podge. Uh, one annoying thing is that for some reason when you Mod Podge stuff, you always miss that like one little speck of dust and it just gets sealed in, you can never get rid of it and it bothers you for the rest of your life. But here is the completed orange box, I'm quite happy with it, it's a super simple design but it was really fun to do. Usually I don't do stuff like this, I do more abstract stuff, but I guess I decided to switch it up today. And of course I put in a little speck of dust and I sealed it in with the Mod Podge and it still bothers me today, but you know what, it's fine. So yeah, let me know what you think I should do with this box. Right now it's just sort of decoration on my table because I don't know what to do with it. But yeah, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!